In 1989, the very popular NHK television show Nihon no Uta, Furusato no Uta, Japanese songs, hometown songs, conducted a nationwide survey on what was the favorite song of the Japanese nation. The favorite song turned out to be Akatombo, Little Red Dragonfly. I believe that if the, even if the survey were held today, we would get the same result. This song brings a tear to every Japanese eye, and I must admit, to mine as well. The music was written by Yamada Kosaku. The lyrics were written by the Japanese poet Mikirofu. When Mikirofu was five years old, his mother left home with Miki's, Mikirofu's two-year-old brother on her back, and he didn't hear from her and it was only by letter until he was 18. And this song, the lyrics, the poem of this song tell of the sadness of the mother leaving. It actually, in the poem, talks about his sister, but it's really his mother he's talking about. Little Red Dragonfly by Mikirofu. At sunset in the twilight's glow, Little Red Dragonfly. Was it then that I caught sight of you as a baby on my sister's back? Or am I dreaming this, gathering wild mulberries in that little basket on the grasslands of the mountain? My sister wedded 15 and set out for a distant home. It wasn't long before letters ceased to come to our hometown. At sunset in the twilight's glow, little red dragonfly, resting, waiting, stopped on the end of a bamboo pole. The bamboo pole refers to the pole that Japanese people uh, hang their clothes on to dry. And the metaphor of the little red dragonfly on the end of the pole is obviously referring to Miki Rofu himself waiting for his mother. At sunset, in the twilight's glow, little red dragonfly resting, waiting, stopped on the end of a bamboo pole. I've put the song, a link to the song, on the site, the YouTube channel site. Please click on it and have a listen to the most popular song in Japan, Little Red Dragonfly.